Well, here we are again, and I'm going to try desperately not to show you the uh, real estate sign because you don't need to see where these folks live at. Wow. Kind of like that. I guess not. Look at these beautiful patio chairs. That's a hundred dollar bill right there that we're not going to take. Trash picking and leaving hundred dollar bills on the curb. Damn. What's in the shoe box? Tile spacers. What about the little wagon thing? Nah. Coat hangers. Cookie dough. Smile. Smile. I can't really tell if this uh, if this pile has been picked or not. I guess we could take that. The main main reason I even got out here is because of this cord right here. Should I cut it? Wow. That's rough. That's a heavy duty cord. Urgh. Heavy duty. Okay, so we found a cord. We found some chairs that we're not gonna take. And thus we begin yet another beautiful afternoon of beautiful trash picking in a beautiful suburb. Stay tuned, please subscribe, yada yada yada. It's broken, but is it unusable? Is it unsellable? Yeah, I'm gonna say we'll have a hard time selling that one. What about that one? Think we can sell that? Yeah, we could sell it to the brick factory. They'll grind it up and make bricks out of it. Remember that game, Brick Factory? What do you think about this bench? I think we can break it up. Oh, hell yeah. What's the strategy here? Get stuck on it. There you go. There's your bench, lady.
Let me go pop the trunk. Get this can out of the way. What do you think goes in first? This piece? Wow. It's a lot heavier than it looks. From far away that looks like a cheap bench, but it's really not. It's a substantive Substantial. <sighs> Lately, no one's really buying these things, so I've just been scrapping them, but you know, we'll see. go. Now let's tidy up. Ow. I just got a splinter in my finger. I don't have tweezers. I don't have my magnifying glass to see where the thing is. That's gonna bug me today. Oh, you know what bugs me? I forgot to put that in there. You want to cut some cords? Wow. That is a nice pitchfork. Definitely gonna take that. Cut the cord off of that. Drop our cutters. Cut the plug. Wow, that is a nice bag of ruffles. Mm-hmm. And they expire on May 8th. Doesn't say what year. I really want these nuts and bolts. Let's see, Bam Margera, anyone? Can you believe that? Any money in the BAM wallet? Really? Thanks for nothing, kid. It's a weird thing to find though, isn't it? Then let's see. What? Mike's? Not in this pile, no. Uh, Hi, how are you doing?
kid just came out. I think he was mad that I was making fun of his him wallet. But I'm just teasing. There's nothing wrong with having a him wallet. And in a neighborhood like this, I guess you can tease a kid for being broke, but chances are he's not going to be broke for very long because his parents are probably rich. All right. That was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Wow, my legs get stiff sitting in the car for hours on end. But luckily, we got some uh, scrap metal. I don't think it's worth taking this little motor because it has this big block of wood attached to it. But we'll take the big motor with no block of wood attached to it. Wow, good camera work. nice when it has a handle too. I could carry that all day. Anything down here? I guess we could cut that. And I guess we could cut this and put it in there. I don't usually cut shop vacs because a lot of the time they still work. But I doubt that one does. Want to go look at some remote control cars and see if they're actually real ones? Or just toy ones? Whoa. I think these are real ones. What? I don't know. Can I take them? Oh, thank you. No, thank you. I'm recording video. For what? For my own entertainment purposes. I'm curious. Yeah, I just like recording video of what I'm doing. Like my, my adventures out here digging through people's garbage. Really? Like, I'm recording video of your garbage, not of you. Like, I, I never take pictures of people or street signs or dress labels or anything like that. It's just the garbage. Ugh. But thank you. I appreciate the cars. Um, do you want the flowers? Um. They're really nice. They're, uh, we just, we don't, we're not able to put them in the, in the pot right now. We're just a little bit overwhelmed. I got to tell you, as far as the flowers go, I have, like, Whatever is the opposite of a green thumb is what I have. So anything in my yard, it's just weeds. So if I planted those, they'd be overgrown by poison ivy in a week. Oh, I feel okay. bad about that. They're lovely, but thank you. Yeah, well, you're welcome. What the heck is this thing? See, this is... This is a toy one, I think. And this one is a real one. There's your charger. That, I think, is for the toy one. All right, my battery just ran out in the middle of that clip. But, uh, 
the lady really wanted me to take those flowers and I didn't, which is kind of sad. I don't think I'm gonna take that thing. But we did get a couple of pretty cool remote control cars and the lady said that she thought it was scary that I was recording video, so I think I'm gonna uh, get the hell out of here. I haven't gotten out at a pile in at least like an hour now. Well, look at this crazy stuff. We got Lucite for days. This looks like homemade Lucite. I mean, not that they made the Lucite, but they cut it themselves. It's all kind of raggedy. But I might take it. Like, you could see how this and this form a table base. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking no. Like, I'm really tempted to take it, but what am I gonna do with a giant Lucite board? That's crazy. Yeah, you know what? I'm seeing Ixnay on the Usite lay. Want to go see a cute little tiger? Look. Isn't that a sad tiger? Going to the dump. I might have to not show you that clip because I might have had some address labels in there, but at least we got to see a little bit of a tiger. I'm on a main road and I'm illegally parked across the street on a side road, so this isn't necessarily a great situation, but I just wanted to see what these orange things are. What do you think they are? Tailor made. That's golf stuff. Never seen anything like it, I'm gonna grab it. Now why am I walking away from my car? There's another pile up here. So, let's see if there's anything here. No, 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 no. Wow, look at that. Anything in it? Nope. All right, let's get back to the car before we get ran over or something. I don't know what these things are. I'm gonna guess that it's like you put it in a golf hole so you know where to sink your putt. Right? Taylor made that's golf stuff, right? So maybe this is if you're like a real beginner golfer and you can't see where the hole is. You put this in there. Then you got something to big big to aim at. I don't know. What do I know from golf? What do I know from big styrofoam things? There's that lady's remote control cars. Remember the lady who said it was scary that I had a camera? Yeah. I'm scary, all right. A vast ye landlubbers. You want to go look in a treasure chest of sorts? Wow, that's crazy. Is that your thumbnail? All right. Let's open it up. And, oh, no treasure. Oh my God. Maybe the treasure is the chest itself. That's so, uh, 
Oh. That's so meaningful and poignant and spiritual, right? We don't have to look for treasure because we already found it in the chest. That's right, folks. The treasure is in your chest. The wind has started whipping. See the trees in the breeze? So I don't know if the skies are going to open up or not, but we're always out here looking for lamps. See? See what that says? Stiffle. That's a good lamp company, by the way. I don't know why I even pick up lamps, because I end up selling them for like 10 bucks, and then, you know, people put them on the internet for way more than that. But, uh, <laughs> there's something cool about them. Normally I don't take the shades, but these shades actually say stiffle on them. Do you think the lamp says stiffle on it? Here. Here's their label. Oh. Yep, it's a stiffle lamp. What do you think those are worth? $395? Maybe. Hola. I just don't want these shades to get really destroyed. So. Anyway, let's get back in the car and go before the, uh, the rain starts. We're doing all right tonight. It's officially raining. So I think we are going to look at one last pile and then call it quits. So what do we got? I know that cord's gonna be cut within an hour, but I'm not gonna cut it. Wow. Is that like Yale University? Where Richard Wolf went? That's gotta be something in there. I mean, don't you think? Let's get these things out of the way so they don't get rained upon through the open windows. Hey, look. Isn't that crazy? The batteries still work. Let's put these in here. Those are people that you don't get to see who they look like. I think I just broke some glass, which I will clean up in a second before I leave. <laughs> Using this thing. Wow, that's awesome. I'm keeping both of these.
but you know the wind is whipping and it's gonna rain so that's it this is what it's like going trash picking in the suburbs on a sunny day that turns into a windy rainy day appreciate you coming along and until next time thanks for watching <laughs>